hello and welcome to the show for today's rally car build we have got the new bentley suv i think this might be quite fast we have got a kind of a tradition really with the rally car build series on horizon 3 of suvs going very very quickly the simple reason is we can get quite a lot of power in them keeping them within the class limit and so on and they tend to go quite fast so the uh, the Bentley we could see it as actually a serious challenger getting up towards the top of the table I'm also oh, I was gonna say I was curious to see what engines we could get in the vehicle but no no we cannot also of course the vehicle starts off as all-wheel drive which is good news for the Bentley we will put okay what isn't so much good news for the Bentley is we will put the snow tires on it however in doing that our PI goes up to almost almost the uh, the limit and I do want as big a tyres as possible on the car I am also going to be wanting some nice race brakes and the off-road suspension but that gives us 8 PI to play around with um yeah that's not much that's I was expecting a little bit more actually I wasn't thinking the snow tyres were going to put us up such a huge amount of, of PI in this one okay I mean we do want exhaust we are up, i mean we've got 611 horsepower we've got uh, almost 700 torque which is pretty damn good going let's uh, let's not forget that however we are very very heavy in this and i'm guessing if we try and do anything like these turbos are going to get way 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 above our pi limit of 850 so uh, what was it? was it valves that gave us 620 horsepower yeah, with five thousand pounds in this, is there anything that I can use to drop the PI down? No, gearbox isn't going to work. Uh, will the roll cage? I doubt it will actually. No, can't do weight reduction. Uh, will the roll cage? No, the roll cage adds. Ah, bugger, I would quite like a roll cage in in <laughs> in the vehicle. General, oh, aero bits. Of course, we are going to be running aero on the car. Now I am hoping that the rear wing should drop the PI. Oh, bugger it there. Drops it by one, but the front adds two. So we're going to have to go back to... Oopsie. Uh, go back to the workings. Uh, I have to drop the valves down by one. We're going to lose three horsepower. But we are going to have a bit more downforce. Might give us a little bit more grip. I mean, the real, the real conundrum with this car... Is we're gonna have we're gonna have the acceleration right? We're gonna have crazy levels of acceleration. Well, I say crazy levels of acceleration. We're gonna have the traction from the four-wheel drive. We've got plenty of power to hopefully accelerate the car, but there is an awful lot of weight to try and get through the corners. It could work overall. We have got massive, massive tyres, which is good in terms of of grip, but I don't know if it's gonna be enough. We're kind of out of out of bits that we can do really on the uh, on the car. So yeah, I was expecting more power. I'm going to be honest. I was not expecting the snow tires to put that power or put the PI up as much. We're at 617 horsepower. Yes, we have more torque and uh, more power than we got from the Focus Rally Cross. However, we are pretty much twice the weight, and it's certainly not twice the power and torque. Although we do also have about twice the tyre, so, you know, I still think there's potential for, for this Bentley to go very, very quick indeed. So, the massive Bentley has been brought to the Mountain Peak Scramble, where it'll get five laps to try and beat the Ford Focus Rallycross car. A 125.2 is the time set by the Ford. A 25.4 is the time set by the GMC Cyclone, which is uh, perhaps the closest to this Bentley. We haven't really had a big SUV go yet in this series. The Cyclone is the closest we've had to a big SUV. But, uh, yeah, we haven't had a kind of a full-size one go. So, this might be very fast, or it might be it might be awful. It might really struggle around here. We will have to wait and see as we take the opening corners. We seem pretty well planted, actually. The back end is not wanting to step out of line whatsoever, which is always, always nice. Now, can we be flat through McRae? That is the question. Oh, wow, the front end really gets turned in well. The answer is yes. 
Yes, indeed, we can now try and carry the speed through our cross-country section here. The Bentley should be very good at this, although we've found that most of the road cars haven't had any issues going across there anyway. So there's, I don't think there's going to be any massive advantage for our Bentley. And this is the sort of place where I think it's going to struggle. I think with its lack of power-to-weight ratio, which is not going to accelerate away out of the corners. We have the traction, but we cannot accelerate away like crazy. Oh, through the Kimmies that I'm miles out of position down there. We've clocked the wall on the other side. It's all gone a little bit wrong, although we do carry good speed through Diabolica, and that's from a very, very poor run into that section, which gives me some confidence. Uh, yeah, we are seriously struggling for... Oh, I've slowed down way too much, so we can... We can kind of throw this car about and carry quite a lot of speed in places. We are struggling with a lack of acceleration, though, and that is perhaps not surprising. The Volvo was almost doing 130 miles an hour as we came into the opening corner here. Oh, we got the ice on the exit. Not that that's actually any major issue for the Bentley. Kind of, we, we lost control briefly, but it was still sliding and going in the right direction, so it didn't really matter. Okay, now try, keep the car across, and then turn in, and it's 100 miles an hour through McRae. That is very, very good going for, well, anything through that corner to be carrying 100 miles an hour. The problem is, though, is that now we've got out of that section, we've got to try and accelerate again, get the car up to speed once more, and that is the difficult thing. That is where the Bentley is really, really struggling. It is carrying, you know, great quarter speed. We can really get it turned in nicely to these sections, but we can't accelerate the car. Now, through the Kimmies we go, jumping to the inside of the first part, actually carrying very, very good speed through the second part, through Diabolica buzzing on the limiter. Once more, there is so much grip in the Bentley. You can really just throw the car at a corner and it'll be fine. Second gear around Satirite. Again, it is Chuck the car at the turn. And there is grip to be found. A 26.4 from the Bentley on its first flying lap. And I think there is even more speed to be found with some, with some bravery. Now, don't end up on the ice. Indeed, we do not this time around. Now, through this second quarter, kind of gearbox isn't helping massively on this one. It's not the worst we've seen, but uh, it also isn't the best. We're kind of finding ourselves uh, really having to be at the, the top of the uh, the rev range for most of these quarters. We're kind of buzzing the limiter through most of these quarters because I don't want to leave it in or too too higher a gear. We struggle to get going enough as it is. So yeah, we're kind of buzzing the limiter or very close to buzzing the limiter a lot through here. Off-piece twist is not too bad in the Bentley. Oh, I might have turned in a bit too soon. I did. Trying to be too greedy. Trying to be too greedy and make up any time that I could through uh, <laughs> through the Polestar corner there. And it didn't work. Nope. Okay, we dove too far to the inside. Hmm. Okay. I definitely think there is some time, you know, time to be made. It's a, kind of a weird one trying to get this to go fast. It's all about keeping up that momentum because we can't accelerate away. We've oddly got a lot of grip through the corners, but we don't have... Okay. <laughs> it's very weird. It's... The brakes on it... I say the brakes on it are phenomenal. I think the... The issue and the reason why the brakes feel so good on this is because we're just not going as quick into some of these corners. But what that means is that I'm braking very little and really just throwing the car in. And there is a just ridiculous amount of grip considering the weight of this thing and the speed. But the momentum that this is taking towards a corner would be terrifying. Uh, we have overshot, overshot a little bit, but we can actually cut back at a nice light apex and straighten ourselves out for the uh, second corner. A little, little bit of airtime across the jump, certainly nothing massive as we head up towards Rolvia there is no problems at all for the Bentley uh, now got to get it flat through McRae we've got to be quite careful here with yeah we've shrugged off too much speed through that first part what we might be able to do though okay it's not been great through McRae but if we can take a tight line up the off-piece twist and then kind of work our way through here I'm not sure we've kept up our momentum well enough through there for that to be of uh, any use this time though we do get the checkpoint which is at least something something helpful now we kind of want to turn the there we go turn the vehicle that's more like it 
a lot more speed through through that corner avoiding the worst of the ice at the Kimmies we are <laughs> taking all sorts of an interesting line through there however it did actually work out pretty well worked somehow we were all over the track but that was a much neater line through that section and again it's keeping the momentum up with the Bentley boat keep that momentum going around satellite we go heading towards the line it's going to be pretty quick it's into the 25s with the Bentley it's so close I need a couple of tenths of a second I need a couple of tenths of a second with it if we are going to beat that focus I don't know where on earth I might find it around this course come on car get turned in where are we going to find that? If we can get a better line through McRae, we might be able to do it, but it's so difficult in the Bentley, getting it lined up for this corner. You've got to really leave it quite late. There we go. Get it turned in. Carry some more speed. It was better through there this time around. Now, the off-piece twist. We struggle to accelerate our way up there. Oh, and as we go through that change of direction, wasn't the best we've seen it. We'll take out the fence on the way <laughs> past... We are taking interesting lines, and we can get away with it. When you've got a vehicle like this, you can get away with uh, taking those interesting lines. Oh, come on. Please accelerate, car. Please, please, please accelerate. Can we be flat out all the way down here? We kind of can. And then on the brakes we go for Diabolica. We're staying out of the fence. We're keeping that momentum up as, as best we can. And it is impressive the way that this is carrying speed much more so than quite a lot of other cars have done in this series as we head around that final corner it's the run towards the line i'm not sure we're going any quicker this time out we aren't we aren't i think we got a little bit uh, a little bit in trouble over the off-piece twist and that slowed us down enough to uh oh, to cause trouble it's a shame it's a shame because the bentley came close the bentley came very very close indeed i think the run through the kimmies actually really I really made up some time on that uh, that fast lap. We were absolutely spot on through that section. Um, yeah, that's close. It is close. It's a very odd, a very odd car to drive. It feels, in some ways, like the hundred horsepower cars that we've raced in the past, because it's so much about keeping that momentum up. Because we struggle a little bit in terms of outright acceleration. It does does feel like racing a low powered car. I guess it's just you know a low power to weight ratio. Is, uh, it's just something that you have to deal with. And it does have the grip to do it. For an SUV, it is quite impressive, impressively nice to drive around here. But in the end, that lack of acceleration is what does the car in. It will go into the top three, which is certainly not too bad here. Because uh, it is incredibly close at the top now. The focus is only... Well, two te exactly two tenths of a second faster than the Cyclone and the Bentley is only a few hundred, seven hundredths of a second down on that Cyclone as well. So, yeah, it got very, very close. It got very close indeed. I mean, we're talking uh, just over half a second faster than that of the 205 T16. And <laughs> the 205 feels a lot quicker than this. This doesn't feel amazingly fast when you drive it. But, uh, yeah... That's, that's a good showing, actually, from the Bentley. I, I like this car more than I thought I would, I'll be honest. It actually does, does turn, does drive quite nicely. It's just a lack of power. A lack of power is uh, the issue here. However, that is uh, going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, uh, goodbye.